Can you hear me? There we go. Yeah. Hey, Kim. Hi there. Sorry, I knew it was going to be tough as everything was um, just back to back. Yes, then, no worries. So I'm sorry, but I know just, just later, at least I have no more meetings and I landed all my stuff sent over my files Good. today. Um, so before you do anything, I just wanted to let you know that I was able to set up through Metrolist Pro, uh -huh. a link that does uh, lead generation goes straight to that particular MLS web page, a landing page, gives a little intro about me. They can click in for a free value of their property, and then it automatically sends me an email so Perfect. I can follow up. Perfect. I wanted to. I have to read. I have to update though my my about me part, but I want to have that in my Facebook that link. So okay. anybody who's curious, right? It'll generate a lead. Can you um can you send it to me? Can we look mm -hmm. at it? Mm -hmm. Um just um me... Facebook message it to me. Oh, but see I'm on your screen that shows up. So let me do it on my phone. Yeah, perfect. And then what I'll do is I can simply um just guide you on, on what to do with it and how to really effectively leverage that, that capture page. Yeah. I mean, it pulls up my old bio for like a printout for an actual in-person listing agreement. So I just need the verbiage. I want to change it. Uh -huh. it um, so there you are. I just emailed it to you from forwarded from my email. Okay. Let me, um, Okay. Okay. Got it. Okay. Perfect. So let me, okay. See it here. Let me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just Facebook it, but it's going to, it's going to, I'm going to send it to you just so I can have that link here. Okay. Okay. Cool. Let me, right now, what you have up on the screen is my personal page. Yeah. And that's why step one, we got to get your links up here. Nothing's showing. You know, this link is still going to your brokers. We want to change that. You said you were going to do that. <laughs> you didn't, I don't have any, any login information. Um, da, da, da. So I need a, I need a lot. I would have to log into all of your platforms and then log into your Facebook page. I can easily do it, but I just, I don't have any, I don't have your login. I thought that when I went in and I updated it, it went to the updates for, cause I changed it for Instagram and everything to be consistent with the domain. Okay, so you we just didn't list them. I think so. so. Yeah, so let let's that's step one. Let's for sure get all this updated. Okay. But let me look at um let me look at this link really quick. Okay, so here's the link. Okay, so if you were running an ad, yeah, it's it's just it's just too much damn information. Um that because that goes from the printout, like I said, when I do paper copy for stuff. Yeah. But okay, so here's the deal. If you were running a let's just let's just look at let's just let's just look at it at, at the news feed. Let's just I'll show you a real ad. Um let's say and also let me ask you this. Are we focused on people are gosh, that is definitely not a real image. Are we focused on buyers or sellers? Um uh, both. Okay. So, but the lead generation does offer if you go a little lower, if somebody's interested in a property and they want more information on something they see for sale. So it does tackle both. Um, what what I would focus on is is one. So as you go into, you can do that as far as just posting everywhere. Like if you want okay. to just organically post on everything, which which I don't advise you to do at all. It's just a waste of time. Um, but if you're just randomly posting, then you can, yeah, you can post whatever you want, buyers, sellers, all kinds of stuff. But if you go into actual paid advertising, like you start running Facebook ads directly to your local area, which is what I want to help you do. I would suggest focus, focusing on one because it just, it just allows, it, it makes it easier for you to continue to put out content. Whether what, so, so for example, we'd be focused on nothing but post regarding selling. And, and it would be one post a week. It's not like you got to be some social media butterfly. Like it's one post a week. 
Like if you can just focus on, on one post, whether it's a video or whether it's an image, if you're looking for buyers, okay, let's start giving out a buyer's list and let's start putting out posts every week regarding the market and regarding a free buyer's list. Okay. That's one strategy. And then on the other hand, it would be sellers. So if we're looking for listings, then we're putting out one post per week on Facebook on our business page. And we're going to use that as an actual ad. And now we're talking about selling. Okay. And so when it comes to selling, it's good to give out a seller guide. And, and, and that's, and, and it's either a buyer guide, a buyer's list or a seller guide. And you want to, you want to use that as bait. You want to be able to give people something. That's what makes people click. So as they, as they scroll down and they see your ad, they're going to see your name right here. They're going to see your profile picture right here. You got to keep in mind, they don't know you. Like when's the last time you really saw an ad for the first time, clicked on it and gave up all your information? Like right. never, right? So you have, to, you have to be running it consistently. That's number one, a consistent ad. When you run one per week, it's technically running one every day. So if I run one single post as an ad and I'm running it for seven days, and then on the eighth day, I'm running another ad and I'm running it from that week on. And then the third week, that day on. So I'm having an ad go out every day to my local area and I'm giving away something. And I'm talking about one topic. I'm talking about selling or I'm talking about buying. And so- right. That, that's the strategy. That, that's as simple as it gets and, and, and as, as, as effective as it gets. So when, when you see an ad, this is what it looks like. There's sponsored, there's the text, there's an image, and then there's the learn more button. The moment someone clicks on learn more and they come over to a page, look at the difference between this page versus, and we're, it has nothing to do with the aesthetics of it. It has nothing to do with how, how pretty it is or how detailed it is, has nothing to do with that. What's the difference between this page and this page? I'll answer it for you. On this page, there's one button, two buttons, three buttons, four buttons, five buttons, um, another, there's your phone number, and then I can maybe click in this and, and click send, I'm not a robot. There's just, there's just way too much information versus if I came here, look, I came from this ad, I clicked on learn more. I came over to this page where there's only one green button. And the moment I click on that green button, he's asking for my name and email. So right. a lot of the times a real estate agent will send me to a website where there's way too much going on. That's cool if we're giving it to our neighbor and, and we're just saying, hey man, take a look at my site. But if okay. we're running actual paid ads, like we're paying to get that person to click. So if, I, if I'm paying to get someone to click, the last thing I want them doing is coming over here, clicking on about, clicking on property search, like there, because I, I'm already going to lose their attention. And, and let's, say, let's say I actually click, let's say I actually search for something. Let's go, um, let's see if I can just bypass it without even putting name and email. Please fill out form. Okay, so let's pull, let's fill this out. Okay, so and then so you're saying you get you get that email, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we click on send. Okay, so agree. Okay, so now, now I'm over here. Okay, so I mean, if if you want to use if you want to use this type of page, then then you could totally totally use it if you if if you want. I just I just know that there's one too many buttons, okay, and that, and that could be a problem. And then I and then I can click on the logo, and then before you know it, I'm somewhere else. I'm over here, so there's just way too much going on. But even if we do use that page, so let's just go back to it. Let's, here's what, let, let's just use it. Let's just use it. Since you already have it, I might as well just, just teach you how to use it. Here's what has to happen first. So here, here's, here's basically step one is your Facebook pixel has to be on this page. 
So the first thing you're going to, you're going to want to do is reach out to them and say, Hey, here's my Facebook pixel. I need it on this page and I need it on the thank you page. So for example, when a person actually puts in their address and then they click on send that next page, let me just do it again. That next page that I went to, the pixel has to be on that as well. So that, that, that step one is, is emailing them and saying, the pixel hey, meaning what the little square contact or you know, like, I mean, a little picture, a link. Uh, no, it, I'll show you how to get to your Facebook pixel, but it's back here in the ads manager. Okay. So, so this is, this is all Facebook jargon is what I'm telling you. Facebook ads manager. This is what has to happen before you run an ad. And if you don't do it, then you just don't capture leads. It's as easy as I gotcha. that. So, okay. so, so on this page right here, all I'm saying is that you need to email the, the, the actual Metro or whoever they are and, and just email them your pixel, which I'll show you how to get to it. But your pixel has to be up on this page because as we run ads, here's what's going to happen. People are going to click on learn more. They're going to come over here to this page out of 10 people. Let's, ju let's just say seven of them don't fill out the form. Okay. Facebook wants to know that. And you want to know that. So what Facebook starts to do is they start to create what we call custom audiences or what Facebook calls custom audiences. So out of 10 people who land here, seven of them did not fill out the form. Facebook starts to group those people. So, so step one is installing your Facebook pixel so Facebook can track. And then step two is to create a custom audience. Okay. And, and a custom audience are all those who landed here but did not fill out the form. And why is that so important? Because those seven people who landed here, there was some type of interest. They saw your ad, they clicked on learn more, they came over to your page, but for whatever reason, they didn't fill out the form. That's somewhat of a, of a warmer type of visitor. They seen your picture, they read about me, they are now familiar with you, they landed here. So what I wanna be able to do, or what you wanna be able to do is those seven people, it's gonna be eventually 700. I wanna be able to put those people in, in a category and run Facebook ad number two to them again. Does that make sense? It does. So, I just, so, technology though, the language, I don't have an image to go with some of the title things that you're calling. And I don't just mean pixel. I mean, just in general, like some of the things that you call it or what to do, I don't have the image to, to truly get it, but I follow the mathematical start to finish that you're describing. Let, let me give you an example. Have you ever been on a website and, and I'm, and I'm going to use this strictly because you're a female. Have you ever been on like victoriasecret.com or I don't know, any bags, any shoes, like any random female website? Have you ever been on a major website and then a couple days later you see an ad maybe on Facebook or you maybe see an ad randomly on, online of that website that you were on a couple days ago? Has that ever happened to you? Happens to everybody because Google and Amazon knows everything we're doing. Yes, it's because awkward. because they're tracking. And okay. so from an advertiser standpoint with Facebook, they allow you to track as well. Now you don't track by name and phone number. It's not a lead. They're not going to give up, you know, that type of information, but they are going to track the data okay. and that data. I want to know who landed. I want to know the data of, of those who landed here. So then I can turn around and show them another ad. I follow. Right. So, mm -hmm. so that's the importance of the Facebook pixel, but the pay, the pixel has to be installed on the back end. So whoever designed the page, whoever created the page, they for sure can install the pixel. And all it is is a, is a, is a, is a, is a piece of code. You can email them um, and they'll know exactly where to put it, but it has to be on this page, the pixel. And then as a person comes in here and they fill out the form and the person clicks on the red button and we click on send, let me, um, let's click on send. Now we go to another page. This is what we call a confirmation page, a thank you page. This is the valuation request page. The only people who would ever land here is a person who fill out, filled out the form. Mm -hmm. right? I would have never found this page any other way. The pixel needs to be here as well because this with the pixel on this page is going to now allow us 
to track the amount of leads we're getting from all of this. Okay. And that's for a tracking purpose. For tracking purposes. Yes. For tracking purposes, number one. And number two, to be able to categorize these types of people. So for example, a person came to the first page, entered their name and number. They came to this second page. Now these people that landed here are also in a separate custom audience. So when I go run ad number three, I'm going to exclude this audience from seeing ad number three. I don't need them to see any more ads. They already gave me their name and email. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be able to exclude them from ever seeing another ad from me. And what is the benefit? Actually, I, I think immediately off the top of my head, you wouldn't mind if they saw a second one. Yeah, but, it, but not for the same thing. I hear you. You know, not for the right. same thing. If you bought a pair of shoes, if you bought some red bottoms and you answered my question, then I was going to say, I wouldn't mind them seeing it a second time. I just wouldn't want them to see the same ad. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay. But here, here's the thing. Here's, here, here's how powerful this really is. If, if, if I, if I ran an ad to you and I was selling shoes, female shoes, and you bought those shoes and I went and I'll be, I'm, I was able to track you because as you put in your credit card number and you click purchase, you went to a confirmation page. Thank you for ordering. Your shipment is on the way. That's a confirmation page. So on that page, I was able to track you because I track everyone who lands on that page. Now I can categorize that under shoe buyers. When I go run my next shoe ad, I'm excluding you. But guess what? When I go run my next ad on jewelry, I'm including you. Okay. Because I already know you bought shoes before. So if I can run an ad and show you jewelry, maybe you'll buy that too. But I could only do that if I categorized you and segmented you based on your activity on my page. Okay. Make sense? So, mm-hmm. so that's the Facebook pixel. So that it, it, it applies for any business and every business, um, real estate, whatever. Like, all that, but that's the most important when it comes to Facebook ads and no one gets that. No one gets that. And that's why every single agent that runs an ad, I'm here to tell you 99% of them don't, don't see an ROI because they're missing this basic step. They're not tracking who's landing on these different pages. And that's the most important. So, so here's what we got to do. We have to, let me walk you through it. Are you on your computer? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to stop share, share your screen, go to your Facebook business page. And I'll walk you through how to find the pixel. And all you're going to do is email this to the web people, the website people. Okay. So I'm on my business page. Okay. Share, share screen, hit that green button below. And give me a second, Kim, I'm going to get some water real quick. Give me a second. Can you see the share button? Yes. Click on it now. Okay. Share your, share your, share your screen. No, I can't see your screen. So David sent the link. You said the green button. Am I missing? Did I? Yeah. In the zoom window, you'll see at the bottom, it says share screen. That way I can see your page. I gotcha. Wrong tab. Mm. Nope, it's not giving me anything. Um, da, 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 da. I'm on the page and I see. And then let's just go to your, yeah, X out this one. So launch, zoom, like, yeah, that, no, that one up at the very top, the tab. Just close the tab. Stop share. No, 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 no. At the very top, you see the very, very top launch meeting zoom. 
the tab on your computer, the tab up, 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 up. Yeah, that tab, launch meeting Zoom, you can close that. Yeah. You're not gonna like this, but your thing is there. I'm sorry, but I know you're looking at yeah. stuff, but there, okay. it's not on my screen, these little X's and marks and clothes, they're covered with other things over it like band-aids so I can't see exactly what you're you're looking at but I see the stop share I see the pause the new no share. no I'm looking at your screen I'm looking at your screen it says zoom launching I was just saying you can close that like you can close that tab this one the um you see at the very very top you have you have inbox 372 you have AOL mail you have Facebook Kimberly yeah you have launch close that tab click. yeah that one that tab you can just x that out it doesn't have an x to x out where, where, where do you see? I see under more. It doesn't have an X to close out. You want me to close out the ID? No, it's okay. Let's just go to your Facebook yeah. page. Click on that tab, the Facebook page. Yeah, click on that one. Uh -huh. Okay, let's click on, um, click on um, to the very, very left. Let's go to, where's your business page? Let's go to, actually, this is your business page. Let's go to, um, Click on click on the drop down next to the number three, next to your notifications. That drop down arrow. Up, um, up number three, your notifications. You see the number three right next to your notifications? No, because I just covered it with the damn mute start video participants. Because see, everything's okay. all bandied over. Okay, notifications. To the very okay. right, yeah, that drop down to the right. That drop down next yes. to the number three, not that one. This one. No, next to it, the drop down to the right, right there. Click on that, and then go down to. Damn, you have you have the new version. I, I I don't like this version. My Facebook doesn't look like this at all, but this is the new version. This is where everybody's page is headed towards. I know. Sorry. So click on. Updated. No, no worries. Click on. Um, let's go to. How in the hell do you get to your ads manager from here? Click. I guess you can click on ad center to the left. Let's hit that drop down ad center. I found it on my phone at one time farting around, but. Um, and then close out, close out. Um, yeah, close out my, yeah, there you go. Okay. And then click on all ads. Let's see if we can get to the ads manager from there. Click on the blue one, create ad. Okay. Or actually it was, um, my bad, it was ads manager. Together. Go back, okay. click on ads manager. Yeah, click on that one. Got it. Okay, so this is where I'm going to have you bookmark. Bookmark this right here. This is where you're going to live. Like, again, keeping it super simple and running one ad per week to your local area. That's as simple as it gets, Kim. Like, as simple as it gets. Forget about all the social media. Forget about posting. Forget about all that crap. It's an ad to my local area to capture a damn lead. That's it. Um, so go ahead and hit ex I accept. Okay. Okay, now this is where you're going to live bookmark this page right here okay get get rid of that one selected get rid of that x for yeah x out that one so yeah uncheck that box there we go now okay. you okay so the credit card view has expired okay that's fine just leave that that you can do that later but bookmark this page this is where where you're gonna be so just hit that star yeah that star there you go Okay. Perfect. This is ads manager. Okay. So everything starts here. So now what we're going to do is everything starts with that pixel. So let's, let's grab that pixel and then you can just email it to the website people. So click on those dots in the top left next to ads manager da, 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 da. up to the very top left right there. Yeah. Okay. Click on that. Yeah. And then we're going to click on, yeah, click on that. And then we're going to click on events manager. Okay. Yeah, you're going to have to walk me through exactly what you're describing because yes, for sure. again, your language is Yeah, not for sure. Language. No, I'm going to walk you through it all. Okay, so this is where we grab our pixel, okay? Um, and you're going to see it right here. We might have to set it up first, but that's fine. Okay, so now click on get started to the right. Um, you should be able to, it should, you should be able to click on right here. it. Contact yeah. the business admin to create a new Facebook pixel, correct? 
It's not highlighted though for the blue. It is down lower if you see on your Yeah, screen. I do. I see that. We're, um, okay, that's supposed to be clickable. Um, let's go to, let's check the settings. Let's check the settings and click on, um, click on those dots again at the top left. Okay. And then let's click on business setting or let's click on, yeah, click on business settings at the bottom. Yeah, you can click there. Yeah, business settings. Okay, so let's create, so that this, this is the very, very beginning. I didn't know that this wasn't set up, so we can set this up real quick. Okay, so create account. And then now we're gonna just give it your business name. And okay. you can name it whatever, name it. Yeah, it can, and you can always change this as well. Should I do the, the Facebook page? Same thing? No, so, no, this is just internally. Like this is just for you just to name the account. Okay, that's fine. Then I'll keep it that way because I have a business and a personal, so I might as well. Yeah. Okay, so next, and then you may have to confirm that. Okay, and then add that. Oh, I hate it when it won't even take USA. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, see, I don't have that yet. No, that's fine. Put in, um, put in anything. Okay. You know what I will do for now? I will do the one I just sent you. Perfect. Um, for this type of thing, you don't have to do that whole HTC, all that crap, no. right? No. Okay. I mean, I think it's like obsolete now. Yeah. Did I spell that right? Such a tiny ass print. Okay. Um, Promote it. Yeah. Just that, correct? Or yes. Yes. Okay, so see if you have to confirm that email. I will. Yep. Of course, it, okay. Maybe promotions. So, okay. okay, so you said to confirm the email. Nothing's come up asking for me to on either my phone or my laptop. Or Did it go to a different phone. folder? Like promotions? Mm, let me see. Nothing came up. Okay, so should it have? Because yeah, nothing. Okay, so your email has been at, uh, has been um, verified. Perfect. Okay, cool. So now, let's go to um, add accounts to the left. Click on it? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So so you so have you ran ads before out of this or no? You've never ran ads out of this? No. Okay. So click on add. And this is where you'll have to um, add an add an ad account. Or actually you can create a new ad account. Create a new ad account. My bad. Cancel that one. Create a new ad account. It's the third the third one down. Yeah, create a new ad account. And then just name this one the same. Uh, like for what the promo is or just same thing me? No, Kimberly sells for you. Okay, gotcha. Okay, perfect. And then, and then time zone. All right, same thing. Okay. Yeah, and then next. There you go. 
Okay, so my business, perfect. Okay, cool. And then and then check the box to your to the left, your name where you see your name. Yeah. Down? No, down. You could you could yeah, I guess you could do that. But yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's fine. And then admin access, manage ad account, switch that gray to blue. There you go. And then assign. Damn. Okay, I'm not perfect. paying attention. I'm just listening to you. No, that's fine. Okay. Okay, cool. Now go to the dots in the top left next to business settings. Click on that and then go to ads manager. Okay. But what we might have to do is we might have to we might have to put a card on file just to put it. You don't have to run an ad now, but I think they make you put it first before That's you. That's fine. Yes. Yeah, so, um, okay. So, does your business focus on policies on advertising issues, national importance? Sure, put for national importance. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't yours? Come on. <laughs> right advocating for issues just put just put no just put no because that has nothing to do with what we're doing okay cool now now let's okay so this is where so so that in the top left kimberly dot sells for you that is the account you're running ads out of because if okay. you hit, hit the drop down you're going to see a couple others so just yeah see more ad accounts click on that over here no to the left down see more ad accounts right down right there Okay, so okay. you have you have these two. So just remember, everything's under Kimberly. Okay. Kimberly dot sells for you. Okay. Okay, so click on that, and then let's just double check something. So now, first things first is also yeah is the billing. So click on the dots, and then let's go to um, let's go to billing. Billing, and then let's just check to see if there's a card on file. There, there isn't. If there was, I'm sure it's been changed since then. Okay, and then click on pay, payment settings to the right. Okay, perfect. And then what you can do is you can add payment method right there. Okay, and then it already has like a limit, so. <laughs> I'm here for you. Seriously, let's click on um, the dots to the left. So up in the top left, let's click on that, and then let's go to let's go to um, let's go to Events Manager. So now let's grab the pixel. We should be able to grab it now. I hope so. Yes. Perfect. There we go. Okay, cool. So click on that. And here's all you're going to do. You're going to, okay, so that's, let's, um, yeah, you can name it, leave, leave that pixel name, that name, that's fine. And then okay. hit the blue button, continue. Okay. I don't need so, to fill in this at all? No, you don't need to fill that in. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to copy this right here. So all you're going to do is, is click on manually add pixel code, that middle one. Click on that, and then and then click right Ugh. there. Click it. To copy yeah. or yeah, just copy. Oh crap! It only says save as. Okay, let me. No, you can left click. There you go. There you go. You copied it. Okay. Okay. So now all you're gonna do is go to your email and send that to the to the to the to the website people. To just, MetroList. Yeah, right? MetroList. Yeah. Okay. And, and what you're going to do is you're actually going to send them, let, let's open up an email. So let's, let's send them an email. I'll show you um, what we have to do. Because we're going to send them, we're gonna, it's going to be more than, it's going to be one email, but there's gonna, we're going to put a few things in this email. Okay. So just go ahead and. Um, Hold on, let me double check any tiny print at the bottom. IDX websites, I don't want that. I would set up. I would set up a, a, a new email. I'd send it in, in a new email, not a reply to this one. So just grab their email and let's send it. Let's compose a new one. Okay. So support at metrolistpro.com.
Wow, it doesn't even have it auto populated. Metro. I think it was, yeah, metroprolist.com. Okay. And then in the subject line, just put Facebook Pixel. And then let's write, um, can you can you add my pixel to my web page and what we call it is we call it a thank you page we call it a confirmation page but uh, thank you. Can you add my pixel to my web page and yes perfect question mark and then and then go ahead and, and put a space hit enter a couple times and then put in bold put um web page capital web page okay and, and let's bold that yeah perfect and then and then hit a, hit a space hit, hit one more enter one more and then paste got it and then let's go below hit enter hit enter a couple more times Okay. Let's go. Minutes. Yeah, hit it like yeah. Go down a little more. Perfect, right there. And then in this one, let's put let's put thank you page slash confirmation page. Put it put a cap in bold again because this I is will. now okay. that that second page. So they go to the web page, they put their name and email, they click the red button, and they go to that confirmation page. Okay. So go ahead and bold that. Get that message across. I got it. And then let's paste it again. Okay. And then hit enter twice, just twice. Okay. Now go back to the pixel. Go back to leave, leave the cursor right there. Go back to Facebook. The the yeah. Go back. And then we're gonna click on continue. Click on the blue and continue. And then we're gonna click on manually. You'll see it here. Manually add event code. Click on that right there. Um, yeah, manually add a vet code. And then we're going to hit the drop down and look for real estate. There's real estate. And then we're going to scroll down and we're going to look for lead right there. So click on lead right there. And then uh, shade that to gray, that blue, shade that to gray. This? Yeah. And then copy that. Right here. Copy that. Click. Okay, now go back to the email and put that right below that second. Um, yeah, right there. Paste it right there. Perfect. That's it. Damn, so, I could never have figured that out on my own because I have no idea this little like spaceship yeah. language, but I got you. Okay, <laughs> yeah. that's it? That's it. Send that. Eighth grade, I want to be an astronaut. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to realize. Planet Mars. Yeah. Okay. What's next? <laughs> so, well, to tell you the truth, I mean, we got to have that. We got to have that. I guess what we can do is we could set up a custom audience. So let's go back to Facebook. We could set up a custom audience on the first page. Okay. So go back to the ads manager. Now in the top left, hit those dots. Okay. And let's at least set up a custom audience. Now we can, and then, and then, and then after we do this part, then we'll have to, we'll have to jump on another call, but don't worry about, I mean, don't worry about pain or anything like that. Just let's jump on another call because what we need is we need that pixel installed on the pages before we proceed. I, I gathered that based upon. So, here. Okay, so but let's click on, let's click on audiences. Do you see audience? Yep. No, not at, yeah, audiences right there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to create an audience of everyone who lands Actually, you know what? Damn, we can't even do the. Yeah, we're not gonna. We're not even gonna be able to do this because that pixel needs to be on the page first. Okay. So, okay. so yeah. So hopefully they can get back to you within the next twenty four hours, and okay. and let me and so now let me share my screen. Let me share my screen because this is what this is what it looks like. And I'll once you send me the link, I'll be able to know. And that's why when I looked at this link, I automatically knew because here's the deal. Can you see my page? Yeah. Let me know when you can see my screen, your website. 
minus uh, messages. Maybe click on the Zoom window, open back up the Zoom window. Okay. Not that. I'm on your web page. Okay. Let me know when you can see it. Okay, I'm on mine. So you want me to pull your page up? Yeah, pull up, pull up mine. Come back to my screen because I want to show you on my screen. Okay. There we go. Okay, so you see your web page on my screen. Uh, I'm scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Can you see that? Keep going down all of your posts. Is that what you mean? No, I'm on your web page. Can you see my screen? Oh, go back to mine. Damn. No, just come back to Zoom. That way you can. Oh no! So I had, I had closed that out. Um, just click on the icon, the Zoom icon on your desktop or whatever. Because the window, it's just minimized, if anything. Join meeting back again? No, just um, you should okay. be able to see. Like, Let me see what I, I... No, because, okay, so on the icons of clicking to the Zoom, it says back to join meeting or sign in. I can go back to the ID share. Hold on, can you share? See if you're in there. Can You can't see my... Mm -mm. The only thing that pops up Facebook mine and then Zoom is just these little small little black options and a whiteboard iPhone pad. I'm trying to get to. You should be able to see me scrolling through Facebook. Nope. I see Facebook pixel. We're back to that. No, I want you to come back to Zoom. You're 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 on your computer. I need you to come back to Zoom so you can see my computer. And it, um, and I'm gonna have to probably join meeting again. But it. No, I, you don't gotta do that. Okay. It's just so, making sure that that pixel is on both pages. That's okay. first. So, so on the about though, you had said to change that, and I'm I'm on the about. No, it's not. It's not the fact that I wanted you to change it. It has nothing to do with the verbiage. Like that's, that's okay. fine. But okay. just the fact that there's a button, but as long as, as long as these buttons about property search, valuation request, contact, what I like about it is the fact that when I click on them, it doesn't take me to another page. So that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Um, because when I click on it, it just takes me, it's just a drop down. So, okay. so, so, so in other words, a person can't escape this one page. They have to fill out the form and that's a good thing. Okay. So, so this page could, it, it, it can, but at the same time, you got to just make sure that they, they're able to install that pixel. That's the most important. And sometimes these website people will be anal about it. So I'm, I'm very curious to see what they reply back. I gotcha. When it's so damn easy, it's so damn easy to install that pixel. Like it's so damn easy. It's one second once you're when, once you have access to the back end. Do you have access to the back end of this? Mm -mm, okay. So yeah. That that's yeah. So they would have to do it. Um. So yeah, just wait for the reply. Right when you get the reply, message me right away. Okay. Cool. Okay. And then we'll go from there. Okay. All right, Kim. Cool. Thank you Thanks so much. All okay, right. Not soon. Bye bye. All right. Bye bye.